Hey there, me is Amanda and you is family. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of this family every single time you choose this YouTube channel and I am so grateful, we appreciate you. Okay, so today we are uh, doing Food Diary with Amanda, uh, that series, and we'll be doing a Food Diary note today titled Let It Be. So I will just, you know, get through with it. Uh, for the new people here, by the way, we're just discussing food experiences. This is my personal experiences, but it's also your personal experiences that you can jot down uh, for us right in the comment section uh, under this video so that we can also, you know, learn from your uh, food experiences. Uh, well, uh, today's uh, diary note is titled uh, Let It Be. Enjoy yourselves as you listen and then we can discuss it after uh, I have recited it. How do you tell someone you won't be eating their food because you don't like how they cook or handle food? How do you let someone's invitation to a food date down easy because you are fasting? Is there a sweet way to refuse your workmates kind cookie sharing gesture? Because you're on a diet? How do you help grandma understand that you are not able to finish her mountain of food because you just ate at the previous home you visited an hour ago? Could there be an internationally recognized sign for sickness one can wear? So people don't continually force food down on you despite you battling with a lousy appetite? Why do we have to root choices we, may, we have made for our good because we don't want to be misconceived? Why do I have to explain myself about my personal food principles and values? The food offerers should take a step back and stop mocking our respectful food declines with their doubting questions. It is their turn to answer the question, why don't you let it be? Okay, so that was Let It Be and uh, where was my mind during this write-up? Um, we really, really struggle with, um, let's say, fasting or your dieting because the people around us, yes, they might be kind to us and, you know, are being very uh, generous as they offer us food, but sometimes it's not our time to eat uh, because of particular, you know, things we are trying to follow. For example, like we have talked about the fast or the diet, um, but... You can't go around, you know, telling everyone I'm dieting, I'm fasting, I'm dieting, I'm fasting, or I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. It gets very monotonous. Uh, we don't really have to tell everyone our situations as long as we are dealing with them and we have help that we need. Um, so sometimes it gets hard because, you know, everyone is offering us food even when we don't want to have the food at that point in time. So that's where my mind was at. Um, can we have some sort of mutual respect for each other where i if i respectfully decline your food it must be it, it shouldn't be something you know offensive to you 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 should uh, have it at the back of your mind or put yourself in the person who is declining your food's shoes and say maybe they are onto something and they don't really want food but um most times you are offered food and you refuse it and then the other person gets uh, offended or the other person thinks you're you know snobbish or you're bragging you don't like their kind of food um or the other person thinks you're undermining them because uh, you know you have refused their food and yet that's not the case sometimes you just have something else you're doing uh, that doesn't uh, require for you to eat food uh, maybe uh, your food times uh, are not yet and someone is offering you food before then or maybe you have um, uh, you have already eaten and therefore you can't eat anymore uh, But unfortunately, that's not what happens with the food offerers the food offerers want that as soon as they offer you food Then you are eating it and eating it and eating it uh, without any explanations without any um, You know questions asked but also on the other end uh, as because we should have a mutual respect if I don't want your food and I respectfully say I don't want it then they should be able to understand without me having to explain myself. I, sh I, I shouldn't have to explain my choices, my personal decisions to someone else, and yet it is my life. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. But uh, yes, uh, this is where my mind was at because um, some people actually are mocking us as they you know, continually force you to take the food in and yet you don't want to. I think we should... Um, come to an understanding or an agreement where you know if someone declines your food take it easy um, 
also if uh, someone is offering you food and you are maybe on a diet or whatever it is or whatever the case is that doesn't need for you to eat uh, also take it easy don't um, you know be offended by it uh, just respectfully decline so you know it can be an easy um, uh, situation for us all to handle uh, but for the food offerers you know sometimes you just need to let it be sometimes you just need to you know uh, let someone off the hook without you pestering them eat why are you refusing eat what's wrong with you eat this is not like you what's up what's wrong you know it's sometimes it's 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 you're getting too much into someone yeah so uh bottom line uh is you know uh, let's respect each other let's respect someone's decisions and just let them be so that it's easier for them to follow through with, with whatever they need um yeah so until next time that was deceit uh, that was let it be i hope you enjoyed it learned something from it do let me know what you think and um We'll be sure to discuss it. Uh, otherwise, uh, remember that good food is the root of a happy body, so eat good food for yourself. Until then, when we discuss another food diary note, it's been yours truly, Amanda, uh, food songstress. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, so, I wish you a lovely week. Until we meet again. Bye.